Hello, my name is Jasmine and I'm the teen librarian at the Lamont Public Library District. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a few new teen fiction and graphic novels with a few manga titles thrown in. At the end I'll also be telling you about our teen programs and that we're offering this fall and the service or opportunities that you might be interested in. Let's get started. The Wild Ones by Nafiza Azad Paheli is a girl who has been hurt, abandoned, and betrayed all her life. After escaping a dangerous situation, she runs into a boy who tosses her a box of stars before disappearing. With these stars, Paheli gains access to the between, a place of pure magic and mystery. Now, Paheli collects girls like herself, and these wild ones use their magic to travel the world, helping the hopeless and saving others from the fates they suffered. Then Paheli and the wild ones learn that the boy who gave them the stars, Tirana, is in danger. They must band together to save the boy whose magic saved them all. For fans of Crown of Feathers and Girl Serpent Thorn. We Are Inevitable by Gail Foreman. So far, the inevitable hasn't worked out so well for Aaron Stein. After losing his mother and brother, and his friends having gone off to college, Aaron's been left behind in the Cascade Mountains of Washington State running a failing bookshop with his dad, Ira. After receiving an opportunity to sell the bookstore, he jumps on it, thinking it is the only way to move forward. But he doesn't expect to meet Hannah, a beautiful and brave musician, or Chad, a best life bro with too much optimism. Together, they make Aaron realize that the destruction, that destruction always doesn't lead to extinction, but to something new. A few reader likes for this title would be Amelia Un Unbridged and Our Chemical Hearts. Radha and Jay's Recipe for Romance by Nisha Sharma. Radha is on the verge of becoming one of the greatest Kathak dancers in the world, until family betrayal caused her the biggest competition of her life. After leaving Chicago and deciding to attend the Princeton Academy of the Arts, she is determined to leave performing in the past and reinvent herself. Jay is captain of the Bollywood Beats dance team, ranked first in his class and an overachiever with no college plans. Tight family funds means medical school is a pipe dream, which is why he wants to make the most out of high school. When Radha enters his life, he realizes she's the exact ingredient he needs for a show-stopping senior year. Both Radha and Jay will need to face their fears in order to dance their way to happily ever after. Rita likes include frankly in love and all the things we never knew. You're So Dead by Ash Parsons. This is a hilarious Agatha Christie inspired, inspired thriller comedy. Plum Winters and her two best friends steal her famous influencer sister's invitation to an all-expenses paid luxury trip to an art and music festival on a private island in the Caribbean. But upon arriving to the island, everything that was promised on the invite was wrong. There, there's a rundown, things are run down and creepy and there's no festival going on. And there's other influencers and small-time celebrities that are just as confused as the three friends. Soon people on the island start to die, and Plum and her friends start to realize that someone on the island has a vendetta against each person. Will Plum, Antonia, and Marlo be able to unravel the mystery of the killer and make it off the island alive? This book will be a hit for fans of One of Us is Lying and Truly Devious. How We Fall Apart by Katie Zhao Nancy Liu is shocked when her former best friend, Jamie Roon, top-ranked junior at Sinclair Prep, goes missing, and then is found dead. She's even more shocked when she and her friends Crystal, Akil, and, Ex and Alexander are rumored to be the prime suspects of a mysterious person called the Proctor via the school's social media app. Each of Jamie's friends were close to her, and she knew their deepest, darkest secrets and somehow the Proctor knows them too. These four friends must race to find the true killer before he exposes each of their secrets and costs them more than they can afford. This book is perfect for fans of Line in the Dark and Ace of Spades. 
Solo Leveling, Volume One by Chu Gong. Ten years after the gate that connected the real world with the monster world opened, ordinary people received the power to hunt monsters within the gate. They are known as hunters, but not all hunters are powerful. Jin Wu Sung is an E rank hunter, someone who has to risk his life in the lowliest of dungeons. One day, after discovering a hidden double dungeon and being abandoned by his party and left to die, fighting some of the most horrific monsters he has ever encountered, he hears, "Ping! Congratulations on becoming a player." Sung realizes that he has received a strange power. A quest log only he can see. One that allows his hunter rank to risk taking him from the weakest hunter to S rank. For fans of So I'm a Spider, So What? and RWBY. This manga is also becoming a anime pretty soon. Boys Run the Riot Volume One by Kito Gaiko. High schooler Rio knows he's transgender and cannot confide in anyone about the confusion he feels. The only time Rio feels at ease is when he's wearing his favorite clothes. One day while out shopping, he runs into Jin, the tough-looking transgender student in his class, and notices that they share the same taste in fashion. Finally, he has someone he can open up to and share his love of street fashion with, and together they go on a journey to find a way to express himself to the world. For fans of the mangas, Saki and Miyano and Sweet Blue Flowers. The Girl from the Sea by Molly Knox Ostertag. Fifteen-year-old Morgan has a secret. She cannot wait to escape the perfect island where she lives. She's desperate to finish high school and find someone who understands her. Morgan has many secrets, but her biggest one is that she wants to kiss another girl. One night, Morgan is saved from drowning by a mysterious girl named Kelty, and suddenly her life doesn't feel so stifling. Kelty has a few secrets of her own, and as their feelings for each other grow, all of their hidden secrets will come to light. Check out this book if you're a fan of the titles Bloom, Mooncakes, or Heartstopper. I Cannot Reach You, Volume One by Mika. Childhood best friends, two halves of a whole. The cool, smart one who's good at almost everything, and his average dorky friend who struggles to do anything right. Yamato and Kiru always by the other side, but not together in the way they truly want to be. No matter how hard they try, their hearts cannot reach each other. How in the world can Kiru make Yamato look at him when Yamato is completely out of his league? For fans of We Never Learn and That Blue Sky Feeling. The Fire Never Goes Out, a memoir in pictures by Noel Stevenson. From the creators of Nimona, Noel Stevenson writes about her young adult life being a creative human in the world through a collection of essays and many comics that spans eight years of her life. She captures the big and little moments that make it all worthwhile. For fans of Almost American Girl and Tomboy, a graphic memoir. This fall for tween and teen programs, we are offering anime and manga club, teen advisory group meetings, chapter chat book club, D and D and board game and chess club. We are also doing a hundred books before graduation, where you read a hundred books before graduating. Log them through your Beanstack account and win prizes on your way to a hundred. For service sorrows, we have our character pen pal programs, where you can sign up to write letters to children as their favorite character. Um, this fall, the characters are Mickey and Minnie Mouse, Doc McStuffins, and Daniel Tiger. We also have book reviews and advanced reader copy book reviews where you get to keep the title after reviewing it. If you would like any more information about programs or service hour opportunities, you can contact me at jwilson at lamontlibrary.org. Thank you and have a fantastic day.